Hello everyone, this is a video of the shadow bands that we captured during the August 21st, 2017 eclipse using this setup. It was a white sheet on the back of our pickup truck with a camera pointed down at it. So this is footage from that camera looking down at that white sheet. What you see here is the contact time C2 and uh, the minus the time until the total solar eclipse happens. Shadow bands start occurring about at this point just before the one minute mark. Uh, being there in person and looking at it in the video again, what we noticed was that they started out very wide and kind of slow rolling across the ground it wasn't until about the one minute mark that we were actually able to see them in person. You can see them a little bit earlier in this footage, but you can see that they start out kind of slow, meandering across the sheet there. As it darkens, I had to come over and start adjusting the exposure to uh, try to keep seeing them. You can see here that I'm starting to brighten it, and at this point you can see that they're starting to move a little bit quicker, jitter a little bit faster, and they seem to be a lot narrower and closer together. As we get closer and closer to the totality, they seem to move faster and faster and get more and more narrow and closer together. This camera really didn't have a sensor large enough to capture the shadow bands in light a whole lot darker than this. The next clip is taken from a camera with a one inch sensor and it was able to capture them in a lot lower light so you'll be able to see when they disappear. There's the shadow bands. They're gone. Boom! Well, you can clearly hear how excited we were about this. It really was a magical moment. Be sure to, to uh, subscribe and stick around for a, another video vlog that we'll be putting together regarding the entire adventure and uh, the eclipse itself. Uh, as you can see, the footage is really grainy. This is the C3+. Plus. This is the time after the last uh, contact when the sun is coming back on the other side of the moon. Again, you can see the shadow bands. They don't last quite as long this time, but this, uh, th again, the sensor didn't pick it up quite as early. There's a lot of grain in here because I increased the saturation and contrast significantly to help bring those shadow bands out further than what you could see from the, uh, the stock footage. There's the shadow bands again. Sorry if you can't see anything. We have a very bad connection. I'm sure there's many other people recording or streaming. It's coming back. We're getting light again. Oh, wow. That was incredible. Look at that. Shadow bands are, fa are fading.